Welcome back to Odd Socks. So if you've watched previous videos, you would have seen I've got several projects on the go. Now, my husband's back at work after the Christmas break, so I'm down here a lot on my own at the moment. So I've been trying to keep up with certain things. As you've seen in the previous videos, the plot had become a complete mess when we dismantled the old chicken coop and we had to empty the shed. That all went in different places. The massive collection of pallets that we had and basically all the <laughs> that we'd actually collected throughout the last year. Now, the reason why we collected a lot of that stuff was simply because we want to reuse it. On this site, we try and use as much recycled product as we possibly can. One, because I don't like to see waste and two, because of costs. We really don't like spending a lot of money actually on the plot itself. Now, apart from some compost that we bought in the first year when we came here and the battens that we've used for the polytunnel and the polytunnel covers, we actually haven't spent that much over the last year. Now, the polytunnel cover was an investment for the future. So really, that's really benefited us already so far. But another thing that we've been doing is the greenhouse. Now, we already have one greenhouse already erected and up that we used last year and it's fine. It's small, but it's okay, or do us for this year at least. But we also got given another one. Now, we'd taken all the glass out and we'd actually just stored it on our plot on a place where we could just kind of keep it out the way until we could work out how we were going to have our allotment. So, it'd been sat there for a little while. Now, it's been driving me absolutely crazy because I've got glass sheets all over the place trying to keep them safe to go back into this greenhouse and other projects. And it's, I've got to a position now trying to get the jobs done on the allotment where really I need them to go. So, me being the impatient person that I am, I've actually started to do the greenhouse. No glass, there's no glass in this at the moment because this morning I've come down and I've worked on the flooring. Now, it's pallets. Now, and I also said before, in previous videos, I don't like to use pallets because it encourages rats to live underneath your buildings. This has still got the slabs underneath. So there's nothing for really the rats to live in. So the one way we can level this area is by using pallets because we are on a slope. It is in a bit of a dip and it would have cost quite a lot in sand. Well, a lot for us to actually raise the slabs here and redo the slabs to level it out anyway. So I made an executive decision today that I was coming down to get this sorted. Now, it has got the back glass in, which made it a lot more difficult, but we had to, I had to put that in because we were having it pushed up against the shed and you have to fit greenhouse glass from the outside. So it made it a little bit more difficult and I was really taking a risk by moving this on my own to try and get the pallets underneath because glass will crack and shatter very easily if the frame warps too much. So me being me and the hero that I am, I managed to lift up corner by corner and then try and place the pallets underneath. Now there's holes in your greenhouses in general in the bottom frame and that's where your anchor points are. Now I've got them so the whole frame is now sitting on the pallets but it left me a little bit of a gap up the middle. So at the moment I'm just filling that in with some scraps of wood. Well some off cuts of some old pallets. Now it's not going to get left like this. I've got scraps of wood like this from old pallets, old pieces of decking, all sorts and I'm gonna make sure the middle at least is nice and smooth and easy to walk on. Now, I've got longer pieces than this, but that's just an example. And what I'm going to do is nail it to make the floor a lot more even. Now, if I had access to a little bit more OBS board, I would probably sheet it with OBS board, to be honest, because it's normally much, much easier. I haven't got that but what I have got is a ton of pallets that we're actually not going to use. And I spent all of yesterday 
trying to cut down and chop up any pallets that we knew we weren't going to be using. But it is actually level and the good thing about using the pallets, I can actually wedge pieces of wood underneath the actual pallet itself to raise it in the one corner. We had great difficulty down the left hand corner because it is in such a dip with the patio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this frame is actually sitting straight on the pallet and then I'm going to start nailing those pieces of wood on to make my flooring. Yes, it's a lot more difficult doing it the way I'm doing it, but I would rather reuse all these old scraps of wood than to go and spend money on something that really I don't really need. So it's the next day. I stayed until the very last of the light doing the odd jobs and starting to finish off this actual greenhouse. Well, hopefully starting to finish it off. So the floor, it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it's absolutely fine for me. So we've got in the middle, which is what I'm going to be walking on mostly, is the slats that are nice and secured. And then I've just filled in the edges with other bits of wood just to make it a little bit more even than what it would have been if I'd just left it bare. It's not necessary to do this, but I just wanted something to walk on that's better than the actual main pallet slats itself. And yes, it does have a bit of colour in it at the moment, which to be honest, I think I'm going to leave. One of the other jobs I started on yesterday was actually fitting the, some of the glass. Now, one of the reasons I need to get this done is because within the next four or so weeks, I'll actually be sewing right here in our greenhouse. We start from around about 14th of February, which is Valentine's Day. So I need to get this area sorted and try to get it organized. Now, what I'm gonna do today is actually get the glass in the roof. Now, again, I'm on my own, so I'll be doing this alone. It's not that hard to fit your greenhouse glass once you get into the swing of how you're doing it. So I'm gonna get on with this and try and get as much of this roof glass as I can. Doing all this now will also free up some more areas that I'm able to clear up. These projects have been great for clearing the areas because all the stuff that we had on our allotment was for future projects and getting some out the way has been absolutely great and I'm starting to get my growing spaces back. Now that should have been an awful lot easier than what it actually was, but I'm gonna crack on because you don't need to see me doing this. Just be careful when you're doing anything like this to wear some safety goggles or glasses or something because there was little shards of glass from the edge of the paint shooting off left, right and centre. Now the last thing you want to do is have that in your eye. So bear with me and I'll get the roof on. Well, I'm not going to lie, that was a ball lake. Now, this greenhouse was actually gifted to us and it was a real mishmash of glass and plastic in the first place. Now I'm trying to do it so the whole front side here is all glass, which at the moment I've managed to succeed. Now I've put the opening window on in the configuration that the original owner had. But the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm thinking it's actually inside out. It doesn't fit properly, it doesn't sink in properly. Now I don't know whether it's because of how I've attached it. It does move and slide onto the rail if I want it to move across, so I can adjust it. But it doesn't sit very well within the actual frame itself. Now, I don't know whether this was a spare window that he had and fitted, and for the life of me, I cannot remember how it was before. 
it wasn't in a pretty state when we had it. So we knew we were going to have to make some fixes. I've just got to find a piece of glass for this lower part because even though we have loads of glass, nothing's fitting that part. Now, we did lose a lot of glass in the recent storms that we've had. A few panes got broken. So that may have to be a piece of Perspex or um, polycarbonate sheeting, something like that, which will be clipped in and then siliconed. But so far, so good, and I've just got the front and the other side to glass. The frame is buckled in many places and it really is a ball leg to try and put together. But I'm getting there. Now, obviously it's very, very dirty. Again, it will be completely cleaned um, in the very near future once I can actually build it. So I'm just gonna crack on and see what pieces of glass I have to fit this greenhouse. So that's something to remember if you are buying off marketplace or other second-hand sellers of a greenhouse. If you're taking one down, make sure you take plenty of pictures of how it goes together. Now the framework was exactly how we had it. We literally lifted it over our barrier and put it onto our allotment. It was the different types of glass. Now we can see that he's hand cut some of this glass because it kind of wavers and goes in or out. So when you're working down to a few mil anyway for something to fit, it can be a real jiggering around trying to get your glass into the right places. Now I am trying to pin all this glass in as I go along. Not that it's windy today, and in fact, it's absolutely beautiful. But it says it dropping out. Now, these front pieces of glass that I'm using, they're a little bit smaller than I would actually like. I'd like them a couple of mil wider. This will make it a little bit stronger. But I know I haven't got anything else to fit this size. So I'm just gonna have to wait and see, and see if this side actually works. So as you can see, now I've got a triangle. Now, I definitely haven't got these triangles in glass. So it will have to be polycarbonate. Which is easy enough to cut using a sharp craft knife or a Stanley blade, anything like that. And hopefully that might be okay. So unfortunately, I'm actually four or five pieces of glass short, which is gutting really. I wanted to at least finish this middle one in the rest of the glass, but I'm actually, I don't have another piece this size. And then I was just going to use a piece of polycarbonate or perspex, depending on what size I've got, to actually just do the last panel and eventually maybe get some glass. It's so annoying. I haven't even got a piece to fit the last bit of roof yet, but to be honest, I'm in no rush for that because I need to fix that top window. But it's a really good start. Now, I need to go around and add a few more clips in and obviously a really good scrub on this actual greenhouse, which I think I'm going to go home and grab some washing up liquid and maybe a little bit of warm water because it is very, very cold out here. I've even got my gloves even though the sun is shining and it's a beautiful open blue sky. It really, really is beautiful today. But I don't really fancy washing in cold water. But there we go, it's a start. And that's last of all, those bits of glass that I've got absolutely everywhere. I've only got a few little pieces left now, which I might try and fix the other greenhouse from some of the panels I actually broke. By the time I've got this glass cleaned, it will all be sorted and I'll have a plan for the inside, which I will show you what I'm going to build. I want things that are easy to access, good working height for me, because it's me who sows all the seeds. And that's really important to work from a height you're comfortable in because you'll soon get a really bad back by bending over. And hopefully by then will be time for the sowing season and we can crack on with all our new sowings for this year. Now, for a second-hand greenhouse with panels missing and everything else, 
I think it looks all right. This I need to have a look at and have a change because I want the front side at least to look half decent. But I may have something to fit in there. I'll just have to have a mooch about. So good clean, a bit of organisation, some new tables, which I'll build probably out of pallets and old bits of scrap wood because, well, we still have pallets to use and we'll be ready for this growing season. I can't wait because last year I actually only had a decrepit old kind of a conservatory stroke shed kind of thing going on from the previous tenant, which was fine, it, but it leaked horrendously. Everything got really, really wet because the roof wasn't attached. The roof blew off multiple times. So to have this as a separate little growing area, I'm really pleased with, and it's progress. So I'm gonna crack on and finish this, and I'll show you in later videos exactly what I'm gonna do with the inside of this. I'll see you in the next video.